Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Foreign Correspondent Club of Japan. My name is Pio de Miglia. I'm a moderator today for this uh, uh, very important press conference. We are very pleased and honored to welcome again, uh, within a year from last appearance, both uh, former Prime Minister Koizumi and uh, Khan. They came here, I believe, exactly a year ago, maybe February last year. And uh, we have now them again, together with uh, Kimura Yui, who is uh, representative of uh, Genji Ren, the Power and Renewable Energy Association in Japan. As uh, uh, we know, uh, the European Union well, namely the European Commission, which is not the deciding body in, in Europe, it's just the government. They have uh, came out recently with a proposal who has uh, caused a lot of controversy, even in Europe, with a very straight uh, opposition of several countries, including Germany, um, Austria, Spain, uh, about the so-called sustainability of nuclear energy again. As you know, many European countries have given up on nuclear energy since long, like Italy. Others are giving up recently. And as you may remember, Germany decided to get out of, of uh, nuclear system uh, after Fukushima accident 10 years ago. Now it seems that some of them are proposing uh, to uh, study again the possibility of including nuclear energy in the so-called taxonomy, new taxonomy program of EU, but that is not a decision taken, and actually the, the trend is that it will probably be scrapped uh, by February 2nd, which is the next deadline. Nevertheless, we have here um, two former prime ministers, and actually, they are also representing other three former prime ministers, Hosokawa Morihiro, Hatoyama Yukio, and Muriyama Tomiichi. And they have uh, signed a statement that they will probably uh, you know, explain in a while uh, against this idea of the European community to uh, exploit one more the chance of uh, sustainable uh, nuclear energy. So uh, thank you very much for coming again to our club. I would like um, Kimura Yui to start her presentation, and then uh, Koizumi uh, Sensei and uh, Kansan last. OK? Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. えっと、私は現、現地連、原発ゼロ自然エネルギー推進連盟の事務局次長でございます。木村優衣と申します。よろしくお願いいたします。え、2011年の、え、福島原発事故からまだたった10年しか経っておらず、日本人にとって原発は
As of for TEPCO, which has caused this accident, they have yet to start the removal, the removal of, of some 880 tons of um, the nuclear fuel debris, and let alone um, find a place to store the debris. More than 60,000 people who have, were forced to leave their hometowns have yet to return to their homes, and uh, there is no outlook for their return and life back at home. それなのに、日本でも世界でも、原発の危険性を隠して、脱炭素のために原発を復活させようという動きが活発化しています。欧州委員会が2050年に、温室効果ガス排出ゼロという目標達成のために、グリーンな投資対象として原発を加えようとしています。これはご都合主義と言わざるを得ません。Yes, and despite this fact, um, here in Japan, um, and as well as other countries, uh, they are trying to <coughs> excuse me, they are trying to cover up uh, the danger of nuclear power, and in the name of decarbonization, they are trying to revive actively the use of nuclear power. At the European Commission, um, in order to achieve the target of um, achieving net zero um, greenhouse gas emission by 2015, they are trying to label nuclear as a form of green investment. And I believe uh, that this has to be regarded as opportunism. Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Daigo Fukuryu Maru, or Hajime to Suru, Maguro Gyosen no Hibaku, so Ste. 福島原発事故と度重なる放射能災害、被害に遭っている私たちは、この動きに黙っていることはできません。And we, the Japanese, have undergone a series of uh, nuclear accidents and tragedies, including Hiroshima, Nagasaki, the um, Daigo Fukuryu Maru um, tuna fishing boat um, exposure, as well as other fishing boats, along with Fukushima Daiichi accident. We cannot remain silent in the face of these um, developments taking place in Europe. Genjiren. 原発ゼロ自然エネルギー推進連盟では、昨年3月11日にオンラインとリアルで国際会議を行いましたが、その際も日本の元首相5名の方々が声明を出してくださいました。今回も声を上げてくださったことに感謝いたします。Zero nuclear power and renewable energy held a global online and real hybrid conference last year on March 11th. Five former prime ministers released declarations at that time, and again, um, they have voiced their opposition at this opportunity for which we are very grateful. メディアの方々も、そして国民も続いてほしいと思っています。以上です。And the other day, um, 261 uh, civil organizations, um, environmental organizations, including FOE Japan, <clears throat> um, sent an op open letter opposing uh, this movement um, to the European Commission. And we, from yesterday, have started to collect um, signatures from individuals. We sincerely hope that the media and the public will follow suit. <coughs> Thank you very much, uh, <coughs> Kimura. Sorry. Uh, Former Prime Minister Koizumi, please, it's your turn. Koizumi, please, 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 あの事故の後、多くの被害者が出た。で原発安全だ。コスト安い。永遠のクリーンエネルギー。これが計算書始め、原発推進の者の三大大義名分だった。あの後、私はそれを信じたんだよ
よく自分なりに勉強してみるとこの三大大義名分が全部育たなかった安全もなかったコスト安いとんでもない今当然なんて言ってるか最近損害賠償自分の会社は金で払いますね政府支援してください安全対策これも前よりも金がかかりました政府支援してください入るこれも自分たちはできません政府支援してくださいコスト安いのかとんでもない国民の税金を使わないと原発でやっていけないのに自ら暴露してるじゃないですかしかもいいですか Yes, and、um, after the、um, 2011 and March 11th accident at Fukushima Daiichi, up, up until that time, they had, the proponents of nuclear power had been saying that、um, nuclear power is、uh, cheap,、um, it is、um, safe, and also it is of、uh, internal clean energy. But all these three principles were proven to be untrue as a result of this accident. And we saw as a result of this accident、um, that nuclear power was not safe. And also, they claimed that, that the cost is cheap, but look at TEPCO, they have to pay the damages, and they themselves cannot afford to do it, so they are relying on the government to support. And also, when it comes to safety measures, <clears throat> excuse me, it is costing them a very high price. And again, they're seeking for government support as well as for decommissioning. So they have to rely on taxpayers' money to pay for all these costs. You know, uh... 自然エネルギーに最も巡られた国の一つだと思いますまず太陽光風力水力無限と言ってもいいほど電源があるやればできるということを5年間証明したそれなぜできることをやらないのか不思議でしょうがないこれから、まあ、原発ゼロ運動を続けていきますけどもいずれは分かってくれると思うんだ国民もね正解もこれは諦めずに自然のエネルギーを十分に使おうと太陽光もどんどん増えてる風力もどんどん増えてる水力は無限にある水力発電の専門家は本読んだけどもね日本は今ダムっていうのはね電力だけでなくて利水治水に使われてる多いとこの日本の水力ダムを電力に使えば水力発電だけで十分賄えるという説も出てきただから日本はこの自然エネルギーを十分生かすそういう時期に来ていると思います。Yes, and I think that we can say that Japan is one of the countries which is most blessed with natural energy. We, we have an abundance of solar energy, wind power, as well as hydro,、um, unlimited、um, hydropower. And、uh, this has been proven over the past years,、um, five years or so. So, why not、um, do what has already been proven to be possible? I cannot understand why this is so. And um, so um, I will continue to promote the zero nuke、um, campaign and、um, should not give up on this possibility. And we have an abundance of nuclear, or rather natural energy, and we can use solar power. The, there is an increase in the use of solar power, wind power, hydro, which is unlimited.、I'm, I read a book by an expert saying that the dams that exist in Japan,、um, they can, on the one hand, be used for power generation, but at the same time, they can be used for flood control and other purposes and water supply. And if we were to use、um, these dams to generate power, hydro alone、uh, can accommodate、uh, the needs、uh, for sufficiently for the Japanese.、Um, there is an expert who has said this. And so I think it's high time that we try to fully avail ourselves of such natural energy. <coughs> Thank you, former Prime Minister、uh, Koizumi. Then is、uh, the turn of.、Uh, Another for,、uh, former Prime Minister, Kan Naoto. Please. The Kan s e e s the Kan Sees. 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 The Kan Well, first of all, to give you the conclusion, first, I 100% concur with what the former Prime Minister Koizumi has just stated. えつまりは原発を使わなくてもあるいは化石燃料を使わなくてもすべての電力を再生可能エネルギーで実現することはこの日本においても可能だし世界においても可能だと
これを私もこの10年間あの事故以降この問題にずっと取り組んで、えー、ますます強く確信をするに至っております。Yes, and、um, that is to say that even if we do not rely on nuclear power, and also even if we do not use fossil fuel, we can fully accommodate the needs、uh, for power using renewable energy. This is true in Japan as well as other countries as well. And after Fukushima in the past decade, I have observed this and gained greater confidence、uh, in the feasibility, the possibility of this. まあ、日本ではあの事故以降、再生可能エネルギー、特にその中でも、いわゆるソーラーエナジー、太陽光発電が非常に伸びまして、まあ、現在、電、電力消費の 10% 程度まで、再エネで発電ができております。Yes, and、um, let me elaborate a bit on what the situation is here in Japan. After the nuclear、um, accident in Fukushima, we have seen an increase in the use of renewables, especially solar energy. And as a result, currently it's,、uh, it stands at that about 10% of all the power consumed is coming from renewables. So, in the past, the power consumption is more than 20%. ありますしかしそういう中で私が特に今ですね取り組んでいる取り組みは A 能型太陽光発電というやり方において、えー、十分あの残りの 8% も供給できることが可能だ、まあ、そのことをこの後少し簡単にご説明したいと思います。And、um, the, so the balance is 80%. And can we、um, supply the remaining 80% through renewables? And as、um, former Prime Minister Koizumi has stated, on the one hand, of course, we can rely more on hydro. And this is one way of thinking. But recently, I have been focusing my efforts on mainly solar sharing. And、um, so I believe that using solar sharing, we can fully、um, supply the remaining 80% that is required. So allow me to explain about this a bit more. まあ、日本ではあ、まあ、いろんな理由で、えー、風力がまだあまり伸びておりませんし、えー、そういう状況にありますが、えー、太陽光発電は非常にこの10年間も伸びておりますそれではどのくらい伸ばすことができるかということを私もいろいろと計算をしてみましたそして農林省と今話をしております、えー、簡単に言えばあ日本には400万ヘクタールの農地がありますで農地を潰せというのでは決してありません。農地の上でお米や野菜を作りながら、農地よりも若干上空3メートルぐらいのところに柱を立てて、太陽光パネルを間隔を置いて並べる、いわゆるこれをソーラーシェアリング、農林省は、営農型、つまり営農をしながら、営農型太陽光発電と名付けて、最近は非常に積極的にそれを進めるべきだと、農林省自身が強く主張を始めました。Well,、um, yes, and、um, so talking about the situation in Japan, for various reasons, we have not seen an increase in wind power. And、um, so,、uh, given these circumstances,、um, instead we have seen、uh, that solar power has grown significantly over the past decade. And、um, the question is how, more, how much more can we generate power from solar? And I have made cal- calculations myself and also consulted MAF, the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries. And here in Japan, currently, we have some four. Four million h e c t a r e of farmland, and we're not proposing to scrap、uh, these、uh, farmlands. No, instead, we'll、um, continue to produce、uh, various、uh, rice or vegetables at these farmlands.、Um, above these farmlands, we would、um, set up some poles and pillars, and above,、uh, we would、um, place some、um, solar panels at、uh, certain distances. And from there, we would produce solar power. And、um, the Ministry of Agriculture is、um, calling this and means. 
concept to strike a balance between um, continuing to farm and at the same time generate power. And um, they have, from this concept, been actively promoting this method at the Ministry of Agriculture. で、まず皆さんにですね、興味のある方はちょっとペンを取って、次に申し上げる数式を書いてください。Well, those of you who are interested, um, please um, take up a pen and um, try to do the calculation by yourself. Uh, 500 kilowatt kakeru 1000 jikan kakeru 400 man hectare equal 2 chow kilowatt hour to you, Sushi. This now the formula here is、um, there is 500 kilowatt. Multiply that by 1,000 hours, multiply that by another 4 million h e c t a r e This equals 2 trillion kilowatt hour. これはどういうことを意味しているかというと、1ヘクタールについて、えー、下で農業をやりながら太陽光発電をするソーラーシェアリングというのは実践をかなりされていますが、1キロ、あ失礼しました、1ヘクタールについて500キロワットのソーラーパネルをセットすることができます。まずそれが第一の五百という意味です。Now try,、uh, let me try to explain what this means.、Um, first of all,、uh, for each hectare of farmland,、um, as I said,、um, they are continuing to produce vegetables, etc. on these farmlands,、um, and they can uh, produce um, solar power above. And、uh, this is what is being called、um, solar sharing, and this has already been in practice.、So、for every one hectare, It is said、uh, that solar, 500 kilowatt solar panels、uh, can be placed. And this is the first meaning of the 500 kilowatt in this formula. 1000時間というのは、1年間のいわゆる太陽が照っている時間、365日ですから、1日平均3時間は太陽は照っていますので、えー、少なくとも1年間に1000時間、日本では太陽が照っている、これが1000時間の意味です。And、uh, the next number that I gave you was 1,000 hours.、Um, this um, talks about the sunlight um, hours um, in Japan. There are 365 days、uh, per annum, and、um, for every day,、um, it, if there is three hours of sunshine,、um, there is at least this much. And so annually, this would come to 1,000 hours. So, the 400 million hectares is the Nihon Nyo Keru Genzai no Nochi Mensei. And the 4 million hectares,、um, this、um, is the current、um, farm area in Japan. Eh, 農地であってもそれを託し転用を認めるつまり柱の底だけ託し転用を認めるそういう特例を認めました。Yes, and、um, well, when it comes to, to these、uh, farmlands, in the past、um, there was the agricultural land、um, law in place, which、uh, did not allow any structures to be built on top of the farmlands. But、um, some 10 years ago,、um, the ministry decided to ease、uh, this regulation. And、uh, now it says uh, that, provided that it is the foot of the pillars、um, that are used uh, to install uh, the solar panels,、uh, these can come in contact with the farmlands. まだ現在のところはですねあの、一般の太陽光発電はかなり増えてますが、今申し上げた営農型太陽光発電、あるいはそのソーラーシェアリングというです、ね、農地の上の太陽光発電は、まだまだあの全体量としてはあまだ少ないんですけれども、えー、ポテンシャルとして、えー、どれだけあるかというのが、先ほどの、えー、数式であります。そしてこの2兆キロワットアワーが可能だという、この2兆キロワットアワーというのはどういう数字かというと、現在、日本で使われている電力が大体1兆キロワットアワーです。ですから、原理的に言えば、えー、この農地を営農しながらあ太陽光発電を並行してやる、営農型太陽発電と、えー、農林省はあの言葉を作りましたけれども、それをあれば原理的にはですね、えー、日本が今必要としている、あの使っている電力の2倍の電力の供給が可能だ
原理的にはこういうことが言えるということを、これは私の発行した本の中でも、数字を含めて申し上げておりますし、そして私が国会で,です、ね、これをわざと農林大臣に質問をして、農林省からもこの数字についてはです、ね、いや、それは数字の上ではおっしゃるとおりですと、つまりは農林省も、その私の皆さんに提示した数式については、あのそれを正しいと認めてくれています。Yes, and、um, so、um, currently、um, uh, it is mostly、uh, the household、um, solar panels、uh, that has increased. And when, when it comes to the solar sharing, in other words,、um, this combination of both the farming as well as solar generation, as it is called by the ministry,、um, we have yet to see a large amount of power, solar power being generated from this source. But、um, this uh, means uh, that、um, there is still this much potential ahead. And as for the calculation, as I mentioned,、um, it came to some 2 trillion kilowatt hours. Now, let me explain about what this 2 trillion kilowatt hours means. Currently, here in Japan, the amount of power that is consumed is said to be 1 trillion kilowatt hour. And therefore, theoretically, um, um, Uh, if we were to use this solar sharing, or as a math calls it,、um, this combination of farming and power generation, theoretically speaking,、um, we can generate double、uh, the current power that is being consumed right now. So,、um, theoretically, this is possible. I have written, this,、um, I've write, written about this in the book that I have published,、um, including the numbers. And also at the Diet, I intentionally have questioned the Minister of Agriculture about this. And he, the ministry has also, in its answer,、um, said that theoretically, at least, um, uh, this um, is、uh, true. And、uh, therefore, at least,、um, uh, the Ministry of Agriculture has agreed uh, to uh, the formula, the equation that I have just introduced. Finally, this is a very important thing to say about the Japanese people. The Japanese people have been working on the Japanese people. The Japanese people have been w o r k i まあ、これは取り組みのハンドブックというのを毎年出,出してますが、なぜ積極的になってきたかという、その政治的な背景をあの説明をしておきたいと思います。Yes, and I wish t h e m the Japanese press were also present here.、Um, but every year,、uh, MAF,、um, the ministry, uh, publishes um, this handbook on、uh, the solar sharing um, um,、uh, or the、um, farming and、uh, power generation combination, as、uh, they call it. And there is a political background to this. Allow me to explain. Norin Shou was this. No, you are not going to be a good one. You are not going to be a good one. 別の言い方をすると、農地が例えば宅地転用されて全部農地がなくなったらば、農林省という役所はです、ね、権力基盤を失うわけです。ですから農林省としては、農地は何としても守りたい。しかし現実にはです、ね、この農業だけでその生活ができるほどの収入がある人は、北海道などかなり大規模な土地所有のところはできますけれども、ほとんどのところではそれは不可能です。ですから今、どんどん高齢化している中で、えー、後継者がいなくて、事実上のいわゆる工作放棄の状態の農地がものすごい勢いで増えている、これを一番知っているのが農林省です。Now,、um, talking about the ministry,、um, if、um, they were to see、uh, that all the farmlands that were uh, to um, be abandoned and、uh, not being used for farming,、um, they would be in trouble because,、uh, and if they were to see that the farmland were being converted into housing,、um, they would lose the foundation based on which、um, they have、um, the authority、um, as a ministry. And uh, therefore, uh, they definitely would like to defend uh, the farm farmlands uh, that exist here in Japan. But、um, looking at、um, the farm,、uh, farmer、um, population in Japan,、uh, there are only a few who are able、uh, to establish their livelihood relying just on agriculture.、Um, and、um, it's only those um, um, farmers in Hokkaido and areas like that which have a large scale farmland that can do that. In most cases,、um, the farmers cannot afford to earn、uh, their living just by relying on agriculture. At the same time, there is the aging of the farmer population. 
population, and uh, they are unable to find uh, anyone to succeed. Uh, their farmland, uh, meaning that eventually um, this uh, would uh, lead to, to the farmers abandoning their farmland and the land uh, becoming idle, and um, uh, this uh, would uh, be uh, uh, tragic for the ministry. まあ、日本はですね、国土の簡単に言えば農林省の部分と国土交通省の部分に2つに分けて法律体系ができています。And I'm simply put uh, looking at the Japanese legal system, uh, the Japan national land is divided into two. Um, one is the portion which is um, the responsibility under the auspices of the Ministry of Agriculture, the other is under the auspices of MLET, uh, the Ministry of Land Infrastructure Transport and Tourism. 農地に関しては農地法という法律がありまして、基本的に農地には工作物は建てられない家とか柱とか建ててはいけない。これが農地法の原則でした。and um, there is the farmland um, law here in Japan uh, where it says um, that in principle um, no structures are to be built on the farmland, be it houses or pillars or whatever. しかし Yes, um, but um, 10 years ago, um, in the aftermath of the Fukushima Daiichi accident, the ministry, um, the agriculture ministry, uh, um, eased uh, this regulation, allowing um, the foot of the pillars uh, um, to uh, be placed on the farmland. Um, so allowing this part of the farmland to be used for other purposes, as, such as housing. So in the case え、これは農林省にとっては、もう最もですね、え、あの、望ましいことだということを理解して、そこに積極的に、え、取り組みを始めたのが、現状です。and um, so um, currently, um, if um, things go on as is, um, the agriculture ministry understands that on the one hand, the farming population is aging and uh, therefore they are likely to abandon um, the cultivation of their farmland. And instead, uh, therefore, it would be better to see that the land be used for both purposes, on the one hand for power generation as well as farming. And it could be that if they do not have any successors, they could hire other people from outside to continue uh, the farming activities and thereby be able to protect the farmland that currently exists while also using the land for power generation. Uh, this is the best scenario for the Ministry of Agriculture. They understand this and this is why they are very keen to try to promote uh, this solar sharing.私は今農林省に名称を変更したらどうですかと言っています。今農林水産省と言いますが、農林水産再エネ省にしたらどうですかと。ま、実はですね、100年200年前のエネルギーはなんで我々が供給されたか。ほとんど木と薪です。つまり
Well, and um, lastly, one comment, um, that is to say that I am proposing it to the Ministry of Agriculture to change their name. And currently, uh, they, it is the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries. Uh, but I want to add to that renewable energy. And um, thinking about the energy source um, 100 or 200 years ago, um, we uh, see that here in Japan, uh, most of the energy was coming from plants, such as trees, firewood, etc. Of course, CO2 is emitted uh, when uh, the firewood or you know, trees are burnt, but um, later, as the trees grow, uh, they would absorb the CO2, uh, avoiding the accumulation or emission of CO2 into the atmosphere. And, uh, and because of this um, past history, and because um, uh, it was the farmland um, which was the basis for supplying energy, um, as we saw just now, uh, I'm suggesting that the ministry rename itself and call itself the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, Fisheries, and Renewable Energy. And I, I think uh, that um, uh, this uh, is their mission historically to promote renewables. Thank you very much. Um, let's start with a question from the floor. Uh, please uh, uh, come to the microphone and state your name and uh, affiliation if you have one. Please, uh, we are many today, so make it the shorter you can. And also to the guest speaker, I would like to suggest a very mijikai answer. Okay, thank you very much. Anthony first. Um, good morning, yes, I'm Anthony Rowley. I write for the South China Morning Post, but I should point out also that I'm currently writing a book on financing the battle against um, climate change. Um, my basic question to both prime ministers, former prime ministers is, is it responsible to oppose the use of nuclear power, um, both in Japan and in other places? Global warming, after all, is not just a Japanese problem. Um, um, you, a prime, a former Prime Minister Koizumi said that Fukushima had shown that nuclear power was not safe, was not safe. Yes, but of course, there have been considerable strides made recently in nuclear technology, not least in so-called small modular reactors, on which um, China is doing a lot of research and production, the United States, uh, Britain, and even Japan has entered into an agreement with the US to do research on this subject. Um, and just the second part of the question, which is also important, is that um, the people I've talked to are convinced that we are not going to win the battle against uh, climate change. Um, the targets are not going to be met because the demand for energy is simply too great. Um, and the uh, current sources of fossil fuels, um, coal in particular, oil and so on, the demand is huge. And they're also convinced that the um, that renewables are not a reliable substitute for fossil fuels. So again, my question is, is it responsible to oppose the use of nuclear power at this time? え、アンソニー・ロディ世界中で起きている問題でありますけれども、そして先ほど小泉元総理は福島の事故の後、原発安全でないことが証明されたということをおっしゃいました。しかしね、この福島以降、様々な原子力技術の開発も進んでいるかと思います。例えば小型モジュ
、かつ再エネというのは信頼性に欠ける、化石燃料の代替エネルギーであるというような主張もあります。そういったことを踏まえても、気候変動の問題があるということを踏まえても、原発に反対すること、これは責任あることだというふうに思ってらっしゃいますでしょうか。小泉先生もちろん現実的であり、非常に大事なことだと思っている、私も責任を持って原発ゼロを進めてるんですけれども、第一、産業廃棄物の会社っていうのはね、いろんな冷蔵庫とか自動車とかね、産業廃棄物がある、これを処分する会社ですよ。この参拝の会社は、処分場を、自分で見つけない限り、都道府県知事は許可を下ろさないんだよ。原発参拝どころじゃない、ゴミは。何万年もね、ゴミをどうやっていいか分かんない、今でも。捨て場じゃないんだよ、処分場が。まあ、中間貯蔵施設でやってるけど、いずれどっかに処分しなきゃいけない。そのようになぜやってるのか、どんどん増えていく。これは無責任じゃないかと。参拝。よりもはるかに危険度が多いですよ、核のゴミは。その処分場がないのに、どうして政府は許可してるのか、これは私、理解できないね。Well, um, of course,、um, what I'm saying is realistic and also very important, and I responsibly、uh, claim、uh, that I want to promote zero nuke.、Uh, because、um, if you look at,、uh, for example, the industrial waste and、uh, those、um, operators who are responsible for the disposal of、uh, such industrial waste,、uh, be it refrigerators or automobiles, whatever,、um, yes,、um, these operators、um, they have to find a location to dispose、uh, these waste in order to get per a permit. From the governor. And、um, so、um, they need to secure、uh, such a disposal site. Now, looking at、um, the nuclear power plants,、um, uh, their waste、um, is far much greater. It is incomparable、uh, to the volume of、um, that we see in industrial waste. Of course,、um, currently they have、um, these in term、uh, disposal sites, but eventually they will have to site a final、uh, disposal location. And why is it uh, that, um, the, despite the fact that they have yet to find such a disposal, Site, they're continuing to generate a nuclear power and、uh, generate、um, uh, these and spent fuel <laughs> waste. And, and then this, is, this waste is far more dangerous、uh, than industrial waste. And yet, why is it that the government is giving, giving permission to do,、um, um, continue a nuclear, despite the fact that there is no disposal site? <laughs> 大きな核被害を受けました。一つは言うものではありません。広島、長崎の被爆。そして一つは福島原発事故。この事故は、あとわずかで東京全員が逃げなきゃいけない寸前だったことは皆さんもよくお承知です。そういった意味からですね、あのこれに戻ることは、私はあの選択肢としてはありえないと思っています。そしてそれがなければ、では、気候変動に対するその使用等の拡大をとどめることができないか、それは先ほど私が一つの例を挙げましたけれども、十分ですね、他の方法、再生可能エネルギーを中心で、そうで可能なことは、これはもう全国、全世界の知見から十分にもう分かっていることだと、私はそのように思っています。<laughs> um, first of all, I'm talking about Japan specifically.、Uh, we have fallen victim to nuclear twice.、Um, one, needless to say, is、uh, the nuclear bombing, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and the other was the Fukushima Daiichi accident. And、uh, in the case of the Fukushima Daiichi accident,、um, uh, we were just one step closer to having to have all the residents in Tokyo evacuate. So、um, I don't think uh, that um, the option to return to nuclear is、um, a feasible. One. Um, and um, then,、um, what are we going to do without nuclear power? Well, as I mentioned,、uh, there are these alternatives、um, that we can、uh, count on、um, that um, would um, mitigate、um, the emission of CO2 to fight、uh, climate change and at the same time meet these needs.、Um, I, as I said, and the example that I gave,、uh, there are enough renewables、uh, to、um, supply the needed power. And I think uh, that uh, this is known and there is knowledge、um, both here in Japan as well as the world about this fact. Karen? Please. 
、フランスの「リベラシオン新聞」とラジオフランスの特派員であり、えー、西村と申します。よろしくお願いします。EU タクソノミに原発を入れるのは、EU のすべての国の要請ではありません。ただ、原発を積極的に推進するのは、EU の一つの柱であるフランスです。私の母国です。あのフランスといっても、原発を推進するのはすべてのフランス人ではありません。ただ、フランスの大統領が原発推進派のリーダーであると言っても過言ではありません。フランスの大統領に何か短くて強いメッセージがありませんか。小泉元総理大臣、ぜひ。また、廃棄物についてあの日本で何すればいいでしょうか。Karen, can you translate directly in English?、So、yes, I, as, I, just to resume it. Yeah, I, I said that、uh, in Europe, all the countries、uh, are not wanting to uh, include uh, the nuclear energy in the taxonomy, but one of the countries who, who want to promote、uh, nuclear energy is France. It's my country. And in France, it's not all the Fran-、uh, French people, but、uh, one of them, the, the president, is uh, uh, the leader of uh, the uh, nuclear energy promotion. So I ask uh, both uh,、um, uh, pre- uh, previous、um, f- prime minister to、um, uh, give a short <coughs> and strong message to the French president. Thank and you. And also I ask about the IQ、uh, Butsu.、Uh, Thank you. Waste. Kondoa Kansan Kai. Naka Macron ni Chukusetsu no. 電話したらどう,どうするあの私が電話するとしたら、マクロンさんに電話するとしたら、先ほど言ったことにかもうつきます、つまりは原発がなくても十分再生可能エネルギーで必要な電力は賄えるということがまず第一です、そして第二は、あの福島原発事故の時に、ご存じのように東京まで、避難が必要になる寸前でした、えー、フランスにもたくさん原発がありますから、もし同じような事故が起きた場合は、パリからですね、すべての人がもう何十年、下手をすれば50年、100年と住めなくなる、チェルノブイのような状況になる、その可能性があるということを伝えたい、その2つで私は考え方を変えてもらえるんではないかと期待しています。はい Yes.、Um, well, first of all,、um, if I were to call President Macron,、um, what I would say would, would be exactly what I've already shared with you. In other words, that's to say that even without nuclear, we can、um, accommodate、um, the needed power、uh, through the use of renewables. There is sufficient supply through renewables.、Uh, that is number one. The second point I would like to make is at the time of the Fukushima Daiichi accident, as I said,、um, the, even the Tokyo residents were close to having to evacuate. Now, I understand that in France, they have a Number of nuclear power plants, and if、um, such an accident were to occur in France,、um, then、uh, the re- residents in Paris would ha- may have to evacuate. It could be that they would have to evacuate for as long as 50 or even 100 years, and Paris would be、uh, unlivable during that time, just as we saw in the case of Chernobyl. So there is such a possibility, and with these two messages, I'm sure that the president will change his mind. Ah, sorry, k u i z u m i あのフランスは今もう 50% 以上電力は原発に頼ってますよね、ここまで頼るとね、もう大統領として、あるいは首相として減らすっていうのは難しい状況にあるのかと思うけども、これはドイツみたいにね、ゼロでやっていける、日本みたいにこれからゼロに向かって努力すると。他の周辺の国がね、原発のやっているという姿を見せるのが一番いいんじゃないかと、そうすればね、フランスだって考えを変えてくるんじゃないかと、私は期待してます。Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, in the case of France, I understand that in the power mix,、um, 50% is、um, nuclear. And、um, given the fact that he is president of that country, France, I think it is from his position it would be difficult for him to say that、um, he would reduce、um, nuclear power or reliance on nuclear power.、Uh, but、um, there are neighbors like Germany, which are phasing out、um, and aiming for zero nuclear, as well as、uh, Japan, which is also、uh, reducing its dependence on nuclear power. So I think of that、um, with these. 
these countries need to demonstrate to the French uh, that it is possible to move towards a zero nuke, and this is likely to change the mind of the president. My name is uh, Kurt Heinz. Uh, I'm writing for German uh, university. Uh, so for your support, uh, uh, the argument of the proponents of nuclear energy, I have the OECD, IEA, International uh, Energy Agency data. Uh, the world consumption of nuclear energy is 2.3%. Even if you would double the nuclear energy output, uh, you would not change the cri climate crisis because the climate crisis is not only electrical energy, it's the all energy, and this is fossil energy, which is 80%, compared to the 2.3%. So my question is, uh, it is difficult to store electrical energy, and this is the problem for renewables. So Japan was the first government in 2017 which proclaimed the establishment of the hydrogen society. And uh, so hydrogen is a very democratic uh, energy source. You can produce it wherever you have wind, solar, and water. So for Japan, this is a great chance to make a reliable storage system to establish, not only in the fields, but everywhere. So recently, I do not hear anything from Japan, from government or other sources uh, in regard to the establishment of the hydrogen society. Right. So there should be a push towards this. So please take this into account and uh, please say why there is so much silence about hydrogen society. Thank you. はい、あ,のありがとうございます、あのドイツの大学から参りましたけれども、あの私もあの原子力反対の主張をしているものでありますし、OECD、IEA などの数字を見てまいりましたまあ世界へのエネルギー、原子力を占めているわゆる 2.3% 程度でありますので、したがってまあ原発をなくしたところで、あのさほどまあ大きな変化が起きなかろうというふうに思っておりますし、まあ、これだけではまあ気候変動対策にもならないだろうというふうに私は個人的に思っております。まあ、全てのほかはあの 80% 程度は化石燃料発ということになってますので、まずはこの化石燃料をどうにかすることが必要であるというふうに思っています。えー、さて、まあ、そこで私の質問なんですけれども、あのやはり、まあ、再エネとなりますと、蓄電の問題が出てきます。えー、で、日本政府は、えー、世界で初めて2017年に水素社会を目指すということをつあの言いました。えー、で、まあ、水素っていうのは非常に民主的なエネルギー源だと思います。どこであっても風、えーそして太陽、そして水があれば作れる水素であります。で、そういった中で、日本が信頼できる蓄電システム、こういったものを作ることができれば、今おっしゃっているその農地だけではなく、何らかの形で、この信頼できる蓄電技術を作り出すことができれば、あの本当に素晴らしいと思っているんですけどなぜなぜか分かりませんけど、日本、並びに日本政府は、最近、この水素社会の話を一切しておりません。えー、ということでも、水素社会についてもっとプッシュしていただきたい、えー、そのもっとこのことを念頭に置いていただきたいんですが、そもそもなぜ、えー、最近、水素社会の話に関して、皆さん、あの口を開かないのか聞きたいと思います。I think、uh, this time Koizumi goes first, because if I am well informed, you drive、uh, or you have a hydrogen car, right? 私の車は今、水素を使っているんですよ。<笑>ただねスタンドが少ないね、水素を供給する、すね、<笑>あれね、もっと増やせば普及していくと思う、<笑>だからそういう点において、電気自動車、水素自動車、まだまだ伸びる余地があるから、うん、それを奨励していくような政策を取ればいいと思っています。<笑> Yes. Yes, as you rightly say,、um, I am an owner of a hydrogen car,、uh, but the problem is、uh, that there are few hydrogen stations、uh, to charge、um, or fill、um, hydrogen. So I wish、uh, that there were more hydrogen stations available. If that were to be the case, I think that we will see、uh, more penetration of hydrogen cars. And um, um, I think uh, that um, uh, there is still room for electric vehicles, hydrogen cars、uh, to increase. And I think the government should be taking、um, promotion policies to make this happen. Kansan, you have a hydrogen car or bicycle? Yeah. <laughs> no? <laughs> okay.、Um, 
Yes, can I ask uh, our two guest speakers if they can stay uh, maybe five, ten minutes more because there are many questions. あの、Okay, please make it short, okay? Thank you. えっと、インドネシアの岸文記者、えっと、すべきでしょうか? How about the developing country? Do you think the zero nuclear, uh, zero nuke is, uh, is, is a must for you? あ、もう一つはあの、かん、ソリの、元ソリのあの、確認したことあるなんですけれども、えっと、先ほど計算の方ですね、太陽電力500キロワットかける1000時間かける400万ヘクタールで、これは日長キロワットパワーですね。これは
です日本では。<笑> Yes. Um, the first part was about the recycling、um, home appliances, but the question was about react, re- radioactive waste. And、um, Koizumi s e i s e n was saying that when it comes to radioactive waste,、um, there is no disposal site, and it's very difficult to secure a disposal site、um, where、um, the waste、uh, will have to be stored for tens of thousands of years. And、uh, so when it comes to the nuclear reactor waste um, debris, um, we,、uh, it is a big problem, and we should not increase any more、um, the waste that already we have. And、um, therefore, I think、uh, that、um, this is a very difficult issue. Okay. 短くしてね、えー、と私、ここのメンバーの林です、小泉総理はご無沙汰です、えー、と私はあの、えー、横須賀の牧島さんだとか、えー、と小宮の人とか友達で、で今日はね、ちょっとあの私、えーと、自民党やってたもんで、やってるもんですから。えー、っと今ね、あのー、残念ながらね、えっと、官邸の、ね、いる島田っていうのは、あのーまあ、ご存知だと思うんですけどね、もう全然違う姿勢ですよね、今と全く違う、で私はね、実はその再生可能エネルギーをここでやって、あのイラなんかと一緒にその CO2 を減らすことをやってるんですけどね、政府はね、鈍感すぎるね、私が一回言ってもね、聞かない。どう,してなんだどうしてなのか知らないけどね、聞かない、ね、だこれをね、もう一回ね、そのね政府、えっと、上げてね、国民上げてやらないと、で私、今、神谷さんなんか、ご存知の神谷さんなんかと一緒にやってますので、後ほどまたあのご連絡しますけど、一緒にやって、本当にこれ、解決しないと、日本のエネルギー、どうにもならないと思います。よろししくお願いします。Yes, I'm a member.、Um, Hayashi is my name, and I work for the LDP. And、um, regretfully,、um, Mr. Shimada at、um, the Kante, at the Prime Minister's office,、um, is n- taking a totally different position vis a vis a vis renewable energy and、um, trying to reduce CO2. I think the government is insensitive、uh, to these issues, and for some reason or other, they're not listening to the things that I'm trying to tell them. So I think that it's important for both the government and the Japanese people to make all out. Effort、uh, towards、um, the use of renewables and addressing this issue that we have. I'm working with Kamiya san, and I would like to talk、uh, to the former prime ministers later on, but this is an issue that must be sol- solved. If not, the Japanese energy situation will be in a turmoil. Shimoto san, two sons, she's in the car, and I'm going to go to the Gempas Shiron Sharan. So, the top of the car is going to be in the car. So, the top of the car is going to be in Yes, and Shimada san、um, is originally from Meti.、Um, he is the secretary at、um, the Prime Minister's office currently, and therefore he is originally a proponent of a nuclear energy. But I think、uh, that the government、uh, from top down has to change its attitude. Okay,、uh, I think we are going to wrap up. Let me just,、uh, as, um, this is not a question, this is a humble advice. You are both former. Leaders of this country. May I suggest, you know, as I said in the introduction, Europe、uh, Council is going to make the decision by February 2nd.、Uh, would you take this suggestion to contact directly all the leaders of Europe that you know personally? For example, Mr. Khan could uh, contact uh, former uh, EU leader Mr. Prodi. And directly, because the influence of old leaders is still important even in Europe, not only in Japan. <laughs> はい、あのこれ、質問ではありませんが、最後、まとめとして、そして私のささやかなアドバイスとして申し上げたいことがあります。あの2人とも元首相でいらっしゃいますので、その立場からあのお聞きしたいんですけれども、あの先ほど冒頭にも申し上げたんですが、欧州委員会、今回のこの件に関して、たくさんの意に関して、2月2日が決定をする一つの期限となっております。それを前に、あのもし個人的にご存知の元この指導者など、まあ、お二人は元首相でいらっしゃいますので、個人的にお知り合いでいらっしゃる菅さんなどは、その EU のプロディ氏など、ご存知かと思いますので、こういったあの元指導者の方々もヨーロッパにおいては影響力をまだ堅持していらっしゃいますので、そういった方々にコンタクトを取っていただき、今おっしゃったようなことを働きかけていただければと思います。Thank you very much. And、uh, since this is the second time you're coming here, with less than one year, I guess, I wonder if the third time, Could be 
to announce that you founded a new party together. <笑>はい、あのもうすでに2回いらしていただいておりますあの、近々3回目の会見で、お二人で新党を結成したというような発表していただけないでしょうか。Do you have an idea for the name? You, you want to change the Norin Swiss Science Show, but what kind of party could you imagine?、はい、あのその際の透明はいかがにしましょうか。え先ほど、農水の新しい名前という提案がありましたけれども、あの新党の名前。<笑>私はね、もう引退してからね、正解ノータッチにしてるんです。<笑>でも原発ゼロは例外ですけどね、他一切関われない。できるだけね、そういう正解の人の付き合いは避けてるんです。もう余計な口出しはしないと。Yes,、um, well, I've already retired and therefore I try to exclude myself from the political circle. Well,、um, Zero Nuke is one exception, but to the extent possible, I try to stay out of politics and not say and in, or interfere into politics as much as possible. Kansan, you have an idea? Well, I think that's a good idea. 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 太陽光発電で日本の電力を全部賄う、それを実行したいと思っています。Mm -hmm. well, um, I personally have no intention and big idea of establishing a new party, and my intention is to promote solar sharing and to have solar sharing and supply all the power and electric power that is needed by Japan. Okay, we, we have a last statement by Kimura, please. ありがとうございます。えっと、EU タクソノミー、まあ、日本でも今、ビオさんも2月2日に決定というふうにおっしゃってたんですけれども、えー、フランスの友人からの、えー、話ではです、ねあの、ジャネステルからの連絡では、えー、今です、ね、欧州議会にです、ね欧州あの、欧州委員会がそれほどこう重要なです、ね、決定をする。まああのことを委ねるというのはいかがなものかということで、えー、オーストリアとルクセンブルクがです、ね、訴えてるんですね、議会の方に、欧州議会の方に。で、欧州議会も、えー、そのやっぱり重要な決定に関してはです、ね、もう一度議論し直しましょうという動きになっていますので、<笑>私はあの EU のです、ね、欧州議会の、えー、それからヨーロッパの人たちのです、ねえー、民主主義に期待したいと思っていありがとうございました。<笑> Thank you very much. And lastly,、um, from my side, as、uh, P.O. Sanders mentioned,、um, February 2nd is one of the deadlines、uh, for the EU taxonomy.、Uh, but、um, still, I've talked with a friend of mine in France, a journalist, and,、uh, who informed me uh, that um, um, the European Parliament um, is um, um, questioning whether、uh, the European Commission has the authority de and delegated it to make such important decisions. And、um, Austria, as well as Luxembourg, has made an appeal.、Uh, To the European Parliament on this point. And、um, therefore, I think,、uh, given the fact that this is an extremely important issue,、um, the European Parliament, I think, is going to once again try to debate this. And、um, so there are such developments taking place. And I sincerely hope uh, that uh, the European Parliament would、um, take、um, the position that we are suggesting, and、uh, that as well as, as the Europeans、uh, make a very democratic、uh, judgment. I'm looking forward to the Europeans、uh, making such decisions. Okay, thank you very much to all of you. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you, everybody, for attending in person and online. And、um, until、uh, next week, we probably will have another important announcement, a press conference.、Uh, thank you very much, and、um, bye bye. Thank you very much.